Are you tired of waiting for images to load? Tired of seeing boring loading indicators? Well good news, we have the blur hash package. Which according to the website is a compact representation of a placeholder for an image. This allows us to use nice placeholders for our images while they are loading. So instead of showing a boring loading indicator, we can show a placeholder that looks like a blurred version of the final image. And all that is needed to show the placeholder is the blur hash package and a unique hash that represents the image. To explain how blur hash works, we will use a photo sharing application as an example. So imagine an app like Instagram. When you open or refresh the app, it needs to load all of the new posts. To do that, the app makes a request to the server to refresh the feed and get the latest data. The server returns a JSON response with a list of new posts. Each post contains the profile that posted it, how many likes the photo has and the image URL. Now the app can start to do some layout, but it still needs to wait for the image to load. Instead of showing a loading indicator, the blur hash package allows us to show a blurred version of the image while it is being loaded. The package only needs the hash for the image which we can include in the original JSON response. Let's get technical. To generate the hash of an image, you can use any of the supported languages. For a full list, see the blur hash github repo. For example, the code to generate a hash in Python looks like this. We take an image, execute the code and it gives us the hash. The image and the hash can be stored on the server and are ready to be provided to any client application requesting the info. To use the blur hash package in Flutter is very easy. Import the blur hash package and then use the blur hash widget with the hash. Here is an example, as simple as that. As you can see the package creates a blurred version of the image. Next you can also provide the remote image you want to load. So specify the location of the image in the image attribute and the package does a nice fade transition when the image is available. You can change the size of the widget by changing the parent constraints. It's also possible to change the fit of the image. Currently it's set to cover, see what happens when we change it to contain. It changes both the blurred version and the final image. And it's also possible to change the duration and curve of the transition. For more information, see the pub package description and the github page for blur hash. There are some important information regarding performance and the best settings when creating hashes for images. Credit to the authors of this package and all of the community members that have helped shape it. That's that for this video, subs if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.